what's happening hoodlum gang welcome back to my channel this your boy hoodie from the hood aka your friend from that big old win and i'm back at y'all with another video but before we get started if you happen to be new to the channel and you want to become a member of the hoodlum gang all you got to do is hit that subscribe button hit that like button leave me a comment down below share the video tell a friend to tell a friend hit that notification bell and go on over to ig and follow me at hoodie from the hood now real fast just wanted to give y'all this video. Y'all see the shirt. Y'all already know what time it is, man. But I'm never too busy to give y'all this content. Um, first, <laughs> your boy Diddy. Uh, this is something that a lot of us knew was coming. Um, some people may not have thought it was coming. But overall, I think we all knew that this was coming. Um, you know, I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and uh, make fun or, or 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 laugh at his downfall. But, however, um, a thousand bottles of lube and uh, baby oil is. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's crazy. That's crazy. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? Why why do you need that much lubricant, homie? Like, that's wild, homie. Like, I mean, we know that Diddy is a strange dude, man. We know that, you know, these freak offs exist, and then they deny them bail. Um, I don't know how true this is. One of my coworkers had told me that he had 50 million or something like that that he was trying to and they denied him i don't know how true that is it's, it sounds believable you know what i mean the man is far from broke 50 million especially for his freedom i don't know if they did that because he's a flight risk and they feel like he gonna get on or if uh they just feel like they got a case and it, it's no it's no need to even play and you get out here and try to be out here for a few more years and make a big spectacle. I, I don't know what their reasoning is, but they denied him bail yesterday and said he will remain in custody until trial. Uh, damn. That got to suck. Um, I believe they said that there's videos of the freak-offs. Um, I know that they, when they raided his house the first time, that they had confiscated a lot of uh, footage you know, and they probably just been going through all this footage uh, since they first raided his house back in maybe October of last year. It's a cold game. It's a cold game, man. But we'll see where that goes. You know, I'm quite sure uh, this won't be the last time that I'll speak on that. But, man, take that, take that. But anyways, um, y'all see the title? Uh, you probably asking where this came from because I had just did a video about will there ever be peace? Uh, and e even though my video wasn't really about peace, I really wanted to talk about other things, but I just didn't want to use Spider Loke and, and, and OG Bam's uh, names because they already, you know, I like I said, I had other stuff going on, so I'm kind of late on that topic, so I didn't want to re, you know, bring that up uh, when they already got past that. But it was, I felt like. It tied into what I was talking about. But anyways, um, now this video, um, I seen that Dubs reacted to a video of some black dude. I don't know what state he's from. He might be from the Midwest or down south. Uh, he did 20 years or over 20 years in the feds. And he was giving his opinion and he said that blacks are afraid of Mexicans behind the wall. Now, speak for yourself. Nigga, you might be scared of Mexicans. Um, and also, like I said, he's not from California. And we all know that the federal system, oh my God. We all know that the federal system is uh, 
it's all the states you know what i mean so for you people from out of state who like to say oh california california y'all 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 the charleston whites of the world and all these people who try to he was saying blacks period in the federal system not california he was saying all blacks uh which i tend to disagree with but i'm just saying and like i said this guy wasn't from california um speak for yourself if that's how you feel if you fear that say that um I don't know who that dude was. Don't care who he was. Um, was that his opinion? Or well, obviously it was his opinion. Did he truly believe that? Or was he trying to go viral? I do not know. Um, I don't respect it. But Dubs have reacted to it. And uh, Dubs has said in the video that he knows that he's going to get a lot of flack. And he's not saying this. And. You know, people are going to come at him like he said it. And Dubs, I believe that you are smart enough to know why they're going to come at you for reacting to it. Whether you blatantly said it or not, and you may have been trying to prove the point of when you said, um, uh, 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 as far as the blacks and the South Siders, and if it cracks off and they come in waves and uh, I think Cartoon made a video You brought up Cartoon And Cartoon was saying after that first wave Them was all the riders And everybody else after that Is not going to have that same intensity So maybe you made the video Just to go back to reiterate What you were saying in that video But you got to understand That it's going to look a certain type of way When you or Gil Or certain people Who's always at the forefront Of these racial topics Who the black community feels have some type of biasness or some type of uh, <clears throat> animosity towards the black community. You're smart enough to know that it's probably not wise for you to speak on it. You probably should have left that alone, but you spoke on it. So uh, we're going to get into it. Now, you said over and over again that you... Um, and I'm speaking on this because for one, I'm black. Uh, for two, I found it an interesting topic. And for three, you at the end of your video said maybe cartoon or chill or hoodie from the hood can elaborate from the black perspective. So that's what I'm here doing. Um, you told a story of, I don't know if it was the Pelican Bay ride or if it was the Folsom ride back in 1996 where you have basically said that uh, one of your camaradas was basically like, today's a good day to die. And you said that that is the mentality of the Southern Raza. Um, and it may be with some individuals. It may not be with certain other, other individuals. And you were saying how you don't know if that's the mentality of the blacks. The thing about us is we all have different mentalities. We are not trained and programmed to think a certain type of way. This is why when when Bride Dog, shout out Bride Dog, this is why when he said puppets a long time ago and people got mad, this is the truth. It's because and, and this is no disrespect. Everybody know I got hella Mexican homies. I didn't have my own community mad at me for shit that I didn't say on here that I still don't take back. I don't give a fuck. But you guys are in doctrine with a certain... To, you're not trained uh, what to, uh, how to think. You're trained what to think. So you're trained to believe that this is what you're supposed to do, even if in your heart, you don't feel that. I refuse to believe that everybody on that side is a natural born killer. It's just not, I mean, this is just not reality. Um, you said in the 96 ride, I believe, that a Kumi in an essay or you, 
had a conversation and that kumi told you you guys don't have the numbers and you told that kumi that the playing field is even because even though it's a hundred of y'all and 500 blacks y'all all have knives i can't disagree with that i believe if me and my homies was out right now and there's three of us and we run into 15 15 oppositions um i believe that's even i do believe that would it have been even us three Versus those 15 without the knives? Probably not. Would it have been even y'all 100 versus us 500 without the knives? Come on. But I understand balance in the playing field. I also understand that that... See, there's no protocol for us, which I believe there should be. Because if there was 500 blacks with knives versus 100 of y'all with knives, it wouldn't even be close. But we or arrogant and cocky too. I remember you did a video about the arrogance of a South Side or whatever. Everybody's cocky like that. We believe 500 of us against 100 of y'all is a win. Um, I'm saying, and I'm, I, come on. I know how niggas talk. Uh, we believe 100 of us versus 200, 300 of y'all is possibly with no weapons. You know what I mean? But obviously with in prison, there's going to be weapons. I'm just saying, hypothetically speaking, this is why a lot of people body into big U knocking out 30 or 32 Southsiders. I personally didn't believe that. Not saying he physically can't do it, but come on, bro. Once you knock out a few of them, they got knives. They're going to come. They're, they're not going to, they're not going to let you continue to keep on doing that without somebody trying to put something in you so that's why i didn't believe it um but i've been there and uh not necessarily in 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 the riots but i've been there behind the wall where you know just conversations and niggas be like you know like kind of sizing fools up like if something crack off nigga i'm a god do this to him i like we're cocky bro we're cocky. It's a lot of niggas who think like, man, psh, I knock him out, nigga, beat the shit out of him. Like, man, look at him. He think he tough. You know what I mean? So we do have that arrogance to where we believe, not all of us, but believe a lot of blacks believe, I don't need no knife, nigga. I got these, which I don't believe. I, I don't think that's a smart idea. But there's a lot of there's a lot of blacks that will come with that knife, though. Don't don't get it twisted. I'm just saying. You said it's a hundred of y'all, and a hundred of y'all got knives. There's multiple reasons for that. For one, it's required of you. If it wasn't required of you, I wonder how many of them would pick up a knife. It's a lot of y'all that want to go home too. But you're all forcing that upon your people. Hey, you have to do this. You're not giving them a choice. You have to do this. Now, I'm quite sure that comes from up top from a certain organization. Uh, and a lot of them ain't coming home. So they don't give a they don't give a fuck about you going home. They ain't going home. So of course, pick up that knife and yeah, stay here a lot longer with us. Um also let's 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 be honest homie if you look at them pictures of the 70s the 80s the 90s before they took weights out of prison come on bro we could sit here and we can dance around it and we can spin narratives you see all these niggas not all of them but a lot of these niggas looking like tookie and jamil Barnes. you don't want to fight that you have to even the playing field. You have to pick up a knife. That's just the reality. Let's 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 just say 500 blacks, 100 Mexicans and just have that image of how when they had weights in there, how swole and cutting athletic niggas was. Blacks, let me say blacks. You telling me that you don't, you're not going to want to pick up some. We was all told as kids, if you can't win, you better pick up some. 
Our parents told us that. There's nothing wrong with that because it's self-preservation. Also, like I said, everybody's going to pick up a knife, whether he's trying to actually do some damage or whether he's just making it look good so his people don't get on him later. Doesn't mean he's a killer just because he got a knife. So I get the warrior thing. And yeah, some people, you know, the Aztec and uh, uh, whatever else he said, uh, that runs in you some people may believe that but i don't believe everybody on that side believes that and i don't believe everybody on that side wants to die and everybody wants to kill i don't i don't believe that i believe it's oh shit either i do this or they're gonna get on me and on top of that these niggas look like football players and in professional wrestlers these niggas is on swole so it's so it's more of a self-preservation thing than a i'm just what do you say a uh, bloodthirsty or have a, a, a bloodlust or whatever the case is because once again if you just statistically go in these communities throughout the country the crime rate is usually higher where it's mostly black people at I'm not saying you don't have no areas that is majority Hispanic that don't have high crime rates. But it's going to be higher in cities and neighborhoods where it's majority black. These are facts. So we can't say that one is more bloodthirsty than the other. Now, 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 if you're talking about the actual method of not because a knife is equivalent to a gun behind the yard. I mean, behind the wall on the yard, but do a lot of, of blacks use knives? There's a lot, but like I said, it's not required. Nobody is forcing us. It's different when someone is forcing you. You could have never stabbed nobody in your life, but now you on this yard, you're doing this time. You're just trying to get home. A riot's about to crack off and they say, hey, you better get this knife out to this yard or we got some and you better use it. Or that's your ass. Now you're forcing somebody to become something that they are naturally not. So I don't really want to hear the the warrior stuff and it, it being in our blood. Like I said, there might be some of y'all who think of that, but I doubt all hundred of y'all feels that way on the inside. And like I said, my people is cocky to where we believe me. I don't give a fuck about no knife, nigga. I'm a, and then you're gonna find out the hard way. You should. You should give a fuck about that knife. Bro, if there was 500 of y'all and 100 of us and all 500 of y'all had knives. Bro, it would be all bad. So if my people had that mentality, if all 500 of us had them knives and all 100 of y'all had them knives. It still wouldn't be no, I don't, all, all that dying on the yard and, hey, listen, like I said, that may have been installed and brainwashed into certain people. Uh, and then you said one thing, do we grow up thinking that we're going to go to the pen and, 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 and put in work and all this? Um, I believe that we all know that we're going to go to prison. I don't know if it's necessarily putting in work and dying for the cause because we are not under a prison faction you guys are under a prison faction that requires that we're all we're all broken up into different things so a motherfucker gonna go in there and stand on business based on his hood and his name and his reputation not some organization telling us that this is what we have to do so yes the mentality is a little bit different we know we going to the pen we know that but as far as all this putting it all on the line for 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 uh uh you could say race i is really a prison organization that's what it's really about on 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 other people's behalf because their whole program and their whole push and their whole ideology comes from an organization i guarantee you if that organization right now is to say you know what hey man look Y'all do y'all thing. Y'all do whatever and go home. I guarantee you, 
the mentality would change. You are being forced to think that way. You don't naturally think that way. It's, it's like state property, state property, my bad. It's either get down or lay down. You have to do this as opposed to wanting to do this in your heart. There is some that want to do this in their heart. I'm not saying that. But I doubt that everyone on the yard genuinely feels that way. That's my video. It's been too long. I, I didn't went too long on this, but uh, like I said, man, I don't know what that dude is talking about. He need to speak for himself. He's scared of y'all. We're not. Um, I've made videos in the past where I just felt like it was just basic etiquette. You know, you 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 treat people how you want to be treated. Uh, you disrespect them, you gotta expect to get disrespected back. Some people took it wrong. Some people said, "Oh, you scared? Oh, you a seller?" I don't give a fuck. It has nothing to do with Mexicans. It could have been any race. Yo, bro, like chill out, nigga. Could have been Asians. Could have been. Some Owens could have been it could have been anybody, bro. It just happened to be Mexican. But definitely not scared. Like I don't know what the fuck that dude is talking about. He's scared. He did his 20 years scared. Whoever he is. I don't even know who the fuck he is. Don't care to know who he is. And like I said, that dude was not from California. Cause y'all love to place that on California blacks. You guys, this nigga's from a whole nother state. He said all blacks. Is scared. Which I disagree with. But like I said, man, there's certain things. When I just did the conversation with a Hindu and he was talking about Lefty and how they're cool, but he felt some type of way when Lefty said what he said about blacks dating his daughters. And it's like, bro. And I brought up dubs and American Cholo. I said, yes, I'm cool with them, but they say things to where it's like, bro, why you say that? I can't defend that. Certain people, when you know that there's already a stigma or a jacket on you, you should not feed into that. That was a video that you dubs, you should have passed on that. There was no reason for you to stir up this extra. And I'm not saying I don't know who all saw it, but you said, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate. And I know that the black YouTubers are going to be reacting. Well, I'm reacting right now. I don't know who else is going to react, but. I don't know why you would bring that upon yourself. You should have left that topic alone. You smart enough to know how people already look at you and how it's going to make them look at you just by you reacting to that. Even though you said, I don't believe blacks are scared. It is, is, is underlining shit in there. That's going to make people be like, yo, this dude is throwing rocks and hiding his hands or being subliminal. But anyways, man. That's my video. I don't know if y'all seen that. Go check it out on Dub's channel. Go check out his reaction. Y'all come back. Let me know what y'all think. If you already seen it, let me know what y'all think in the comments below. I'm out.